demonstration of a vacuum jar. We have a very simple vacuum jar here. There's an O-ring to keep the air from going in and out through the bottom. And this syringe and tubing will act as the vacuum pump. So if we put that on here, and then pump a couple of times, Now the bottom won't fall off because we've pumped out some air. When you pull out the plunger, that increases the volume of air in the syringe and decreases the pressure. Then there are two one-way valves. This what valve allows air to go from the vacuum jar to the syringe, and this valve allows air to go from the syringe to the air. When we push on the uh, plunger, that decreases the volume of air, increases its pressure, and the air can get pushed to the atmos to the out, to, out to the atmosphere. So when we do this repeatedly, we keep pumping air from the vacuum jar out to the atmosphere. As you pump air out, that decreases the pressure inside the vacuum jar, and that's why the bottom stays on. Now I'll let the air back in the vacuum jar. And we notice that we have a balloon that's tied off on one end. We're going to put that balloon in the vacuum jar. And what we want to do is blow up the balloon uh, by an unusual method. Now, usually, when you blow up a balloon, you add pressure to the inside of the balloon, so the pressure inside the balloon is greater than the atmospheric pressure outside. But with this apparatus, we can't add pressure to the inside of the balloon, so we're going to take pressure away from the outside of the balloon. So again, we'll start pumping, and as we remove air from the vacuum jar, we're also lowering the pressure in the vacuum jar and the pressure inside the balloon stays essentially the same. So there's again a pressure inside the balloon greater than the pressure outside the balloon and the balloon blows up. In the second demonstration we're going to use a suction cup and you know that the way a suction cup works is you hold it against the object you want it to attach to, push out the air, or most of the air at least, and that little bit of air that's left is uh, then it expands its volume as the suction cup flexes. So you have a large volume, low pressure under the suction cup, you have atmospheric pressure outside the suction cup, and that pressure difference holds the suction cup in place. Now I want you to predict what's going to happen if I put this suction cup inside the bell jar and suck out the air. And now take a look at the suction cup as I pump more air out. It takes a little bit of pumping to get it to work. Can you see the suction cup changing? And indeed it fell off. So the question is, why did the suction cup fall off? Again, it would be held on if the pressure under the suction cup is less than the pressure outside the suction cup, and initially that was the case. But as we pumped air out of the vacuum jar, that decreased the pressure outside the suction cup. And when those pressures equalized, the suction cup could fall off.